Good morning, and it's Sue from Createful Journals. And today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to edit some of the Christmas planners. This is a package I just released recently, and I've had a few questions from customers about how to make quick changes to the PowerPoint slides so that you can customize it and put your own look and feel to, um, to the slides. So first of all, um, I'm using the latest version of PowerPoint, but if you have anything from 2010 to 2016, these templates will work as you're going to see on the screen today. If you have an earlier version, the things may look a little bit different and I can't show it to you because I don't have that version on my computer anymore. Um, if you're interested in getting the up-to-date PowerPoint version, you can subscribe to Office 365 on a monthly basis. It's $7.99 in Canada and $9.99 in the US. Um, and that way you will have the whole suite of office programs and you always have the up-to-date version. So, you know, if you're going to do a lot of um, planners or videos, PowerPoint slides, it might be something that um, you want to look into. Okay, so let's get started with the training. And first of all, I'll just show you how I created this page. So the pattern design is a background. And to insert that, you go to your design, then format background, and then the format background box will open as you see here. Then you just click on the picture, go to file, and then you can select whatever background that you would like. Uh, one thing I would like to mention is that it's easy for the backgrounds. If you use patterns, they will display nicely. You don't have to worry about the size looking a little funny once you put it into the background. If you try to do just a plain image, sometimes you'll find that the image looks a little distorted. So, um, you know, I find it's easier just to use um, patterns and I'll give you a link at the end below this video of where you can pick up some nice pattern designs, either free or at a really low cost price. Okay, so we just select the, the new background and insert and there you go. So there you have now your different looking um, event calendar. Now one thing you can do here is you can play with the transparency if you want it to look darker or lighter. So it just depends on how much of a impact that you want the background to make. I usually do a little lighter um, so that you can see it too and you know and then too for um, printing it, it doesn't look as as bold when it's printed so you know you select what you want to do there. Okay now to make some of the changes here if you wanted to change this event box because now we want to match the blue so always select the item that you want to format make sure it's highlighted all the way around click on format and now this is a shape so we're going to go to the shape fill and then you just select the color now you can just select from the colors that pop up here or you can use your eyedropper and then you could select from here but see that one there may look be a little too faded again it depends on how you want the design to look okay and then you would do the same for the um the font if you wanted to change it click on that then format and then if you want the text you can just change the color of the text so again you may want to go with the, the turquoise to make it stand out a little bit more and if you want to make it bigger you can do that too okay and then the same thing oops, would be on the notes again i've made just all i simply did was draw a shape so we go to format if you want to fill it select the color and now if you want to give the outline if you want it contrasting you just pick another color that matches or if you want to blend it in then i would just pick the same okay and then you have that there so we'll put it back to the no fill if you just want it to be plain okay now someone was asking about how to put the logo or a little image on all of these planners so what you would do here is I just, um, actually I'll delete this and I'll show you again. That way you can see how it works. So we go to insert. If we want to insert some text, we need to draw a text box. So you just click on it and then just start to draw and then URL. You would add your logo URL in there. And then once you're done and you get the little four headed pointer, you can move it to wherever you would like on the slide. So you just position it where you want to have it let it go and then again if you want to color it uh, change the font style you, know, you can select from all these different font fonts as well and then you're ready to go with that one if you wanted to do the picture you go insert picture let's see if I can just find a quick picture
Okay, and then you just select the picture that you're looking for. Let's just put Sandra in here. So click Insert. Okay, now it's going to come up really big, so we just want to resize it. So you can just slide him down to wherever you'd want to put him. Okay, and then, um, and if that was your logo, you just make it a little smaller, of course, in there. So, so now the thing is, he is standing in front of this frame. Now you may want him to be behind this frame. So to do that, you just simply click on him and then go up to send backwards and just send him to the back. Right there, and now you'll see that he's behind there. So if you like that effect, then you can do that too. And if you wanted to, you could now make this nice and small, and you could put your URL on the page. You just have to change the font size. But you could actually put little message in this box, and that's how you would do it right there. And once you're happy with it, then you save it. Now what I would suggest you do, and if you're going to give out more, like a pack of planners here, create the first slide first, um, with all the little logo and branding items that you want on it. And then from there, it's easy just to duplicate it and then make all the different changes. So if you were happy with this one, you would save it and then let's just duplicate the slide. Okay, and now from here, we could make changes again. So from this one, we may decide that we want a plain background. I'm, when I'm doing these planners, I'm giving out like different versions, some for people that don't mind printing in color and then I'm trying to keep in mind those that you know, have only got the black and white or, you know, they're worried about, you know, using too much color ink. So I'm giving out the different versions. So for this one, let's do um, plain background. So go to design again, format background, and then you can go to solid fill and you can pick color or if you just wanted white, there you have your plain one. So now you've got a second version. It's got your logo on everything and you don't have to make any changes, All right? So that's how we do that one. Now for this one, I did a color, so we found the blue color, and then I added the gradient fill, so you can see the gradient on here. And then here's you we can change the color of the box again, click it, click it so it's outlined, go to format, and then we want to go to shape fill, and then if you want the blue, maybe we'll go with a different blue on this one, and then you have that on here. Now somebody was asking if they wanted more of a to-do list without the notebook box, so I'll show you how to do that. To click, to delete anything, click on it, on the outside edge and then it's going to delete for you. Okay, so now we want to bring this list over here and it simply is copy and paste. So click on the outside, go into copy and then right click and paste. One thing with PowerPoint is when you paste, it pastes on top of the item that you copied. It doesn't move it over like sometimes in Word, it will move it over. So you just have to click back on top and then just drag it over and then use the guidelines to line it up. And then you simply now, you've got a different version of your to-do list. And if you wanted to make this match the first one, go back in again to the design, click over to the picture, and then go find oops, the picture that you wanted. And then you find the design again that you're using and just insert it. And now you've got that one that matches the top one there. Okay, now for these ones here, I simply inserted the picture how I showed you before. And you know, this, when you first insert it, this is going to be big like this. And then you just simply want to resize it. So click on it to resize it. and just make sure you get the four headed pointer and then you can just move it where you want. Now again, when I first did this, it was sitting on top of the word events and I wanted to go to the beh to behind it. So it's just use, you're either sending things backwards here or you're gonna bring from something forward. If we bring him forward, we've now lost the text. All right, so now just to do it again, just send him to the back and now you've got the text on top. All right, so that's an easy way um, to do that one here. This is a different version I created. Now I'm learning how to do these black and white images. When I get it down 100%, I will do a training on that. So the, because this is another nice thing that we can do as well. Uh, again, um, with the printing considerations, we can just offer them a black and white version of the image. And you just you know put it in the same as we uh, did before. Now one other thing that somebody was asking is, we'll go back to the first slide here. 
if you want the font here to stand out more or you want to put a color behind it, right, we just click on it again so it's outlined format. Now this time we want to fill the shape. So you could actually just fill whichever color that you chose. And now if you want a little gradient in it, go back in, go down to gradient, and then you can pick a gradient. And again, if you want to change the text, highlight it, change the fonts, colors, and then you've got that. So now you've got a nice box behind it. Now, if you find that you may want to do this for all of these as well, just to highlight them a bit more. So again, once you've Select it, you can just go back on, click on the blue again, go down to, let's go back to the fill, find the gradient and click on the gradient. And then you can make them all match. Okay, so you just keep doing that all the way through. And now you've got all the headings that stand out a little bit more. So that's something else you can do to customize these as well. Now we'll go back down to the notes, all right? Now there's different ways that you can insert lines in um, PowerPoint. Now, one thing that you want to notice, most people will do it this way. We'll insert a text box and you do this in Word too, or you can. You just use your shift and underscore and then you start making your lines like this. Okay, well that does work. The disadvantage to it is when we want, if you're going to, once you've done your journal, if you're going to add headings or quotes and you're going to go back in here and you start typing on it, all the lines are going to move. And everything moves and then it can just cause you more work is the biggest thing. And then things start to shift. And if you've got some images on the page, then these lines can make everything go out of whack. So the way I do it, and it's much easier, is we'll just remove that. We're going to go and insert a table and it's really easy to do. So we insert table. And we just want the one by eight to get the eight lines. And now you've got your table. So position it where you want it and resize it. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want, obviously we want to take all the shade in away. So to do this, I'm going to switch over to view and we'll zoom in because sometimes you're going, the lines are going to fade and it could be a little hard to um, see. Okay, so once you've zoomed in, Go back to design, click on the table styles. I'm taking the very first one here where no style, no grid. Okay, and as you can see, they're very faint lines in here. Now we want to color these. So we're going to use this pen tool here. So select the type of line that you want. All right, select your thickness. And then click on the pen tool and whichever color you want. So if you want to do some Christmas reds, you can do it like that. And then you just click on the line and you're ready to go. All right, we'll just change the view back. Okay, and then you go all the way down here. Now, when you get to the end, you want more lines. You could copy and paste this, but then you're going to have to worry about position, get, getting these two lines to, to match with the, the height and everything. So the easiest way to, to go to the bottom row, okay, right click, go to insert, row below, and you just do this all the way down to your table is however long that you want it. Okay, and then you can click on it, move it. Say we were going to add an image over here, and then we wanted some smaller lines in here. Okay, you can, um, you, the, the, actually the easy, because if you copy and paste it, it's going to stretch down the page. So all you're going to do is just do the same thing again. So go to insert table, just take a few small lines here, move it where you want it, and then resize it. And then you're just gonna do the same thing that we did here. Go back to the pen color. Let's make these ones green. Okay, and then you've got smaller lines there. So that was how you do that. Okay. So what I would suggest that you do, if you're going to give out the different versions, you know, it depends on what you have planned with these, is go through, create all of the slides and then save them. And one nice thing to do is just to save them as a PDF. So file, you can do it as save as, and then bring it down here and find your PDF and you can save it that way. This way all the planners are in a little booklet by themselves. If you have access to any of the Adobe programs, you can have the Adobe PDF. So you can just click on that one and it will to create it for you and you can um, export it okay? and then this will create you the PDF as well and if you have links in any of these documents I find if you export rather than do the save as the links will stay intact 
Now, another nice thing with this uh, version of PowerPoint is that you can create a video straight in from your presentation. So if you wanted to make like a little video um, sales page, you could actually just use all of, the, all of this here, turn it into a video, and you've got a pre-made sales page without doing any extra work. Okay, and now the other thing I'd um, like to show you is, if you go to view and slide, this is how I get my screenshots on the sales page. So you go into the slide sorter here, click on Zoom, and we just got to play with the, as we want them a little bigger. Okay, so you would zoom in until we find the right size. Okay, so say that was the right size here. And then all I do is I use Snagit. I would do a screen capture. I can try, yeah, it's not gonna open at the moment, but if you just use Snagit or a screen uh, capture tool, you're going to um, just ca capture this. So say we just want to do the first four at one time, capture it, resize it, and then we can take all these spaces out. And I'll, I'll do a separate video on that when I open up Snagit and I'll show you how you can make all of this look a little neater and get rid of all this gray in between. But again, just without, before you even close this document out, you can create a video, your planners, and you can do your screenshots for the uh, sales page. And just make sure that you save them as a PNG, um, just for print-wise color quality on your website, they look a lot better. Okay, so we'll go back here and I'll see if there's any questions or comments. Okay, and then this is just a plain note page that I did here too. And if you want, again, if you want to fill it with the color, format, shape fill, if you want to do the pale blue, and then go back and do a gradient. It's probably going to be too dark, but you get the idea. You can just play with everything in here. Okay, we'll make it there. Okay. okay, so like I said, I'll add some links below this video to some places that you can get um, some nice of these, the, the Christmassy images and um, background patterns that are really low cost. So that shall help you design all the different planners. And if you have any other questions, just let me know and I'll be happy to create more trainings on them for you. And then I'm going to do a separate video on the baking list and the children's wish list. I'll show you how I created those in PowerPoint. Okay, so thanks for watching and um, look forward to hearing from you.